Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealing, therefore the court can care less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilli, your presiding judge, chairman, and spoke person for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Man. Okay, man. Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy came out and given his um <laughs> he came out and addressed the tranny allegations, rumors, however you want to call it. And he released a statement. This was his statement was <laughs> he said, I'm about to battle again. I got another battle to <laughs> come out again. And I'm about to drop one of the greatest albums ever. So somebody is trying to set me up. Hashtag set him up. The truth hurts. But then, but them lies, hashtag lies, but them lies can't affect me. When the truth comes to the light, anyone questioning my credibility will feel stupid like they always do. Hashtag, they tune. First off, man, shut up, man. Ain't nobody falling for that. You got caught. You getting exposed. And now you're trying to cover up. Now you're trying to cover it up. This is one of the worst statements you could have made. But this one of them uh, uh, do a statement for your career type statement. Let me tell you something. For you to be a so-called guy from the streets who know about the streets and stuff. Let me just ask y'all this question. If you're a brother from the street and two trannies come out talking about you had a menage a trois with them, you was massaging a penis while they were giving you oral sex, they got pictures of your wife literally putting it up, they got pictures of your wife, not any regular pictures, but private pictures nobody should have. Your phone number, all y'all inboxing each other. But if you was innocent of that, this all you have to say? You ain't gonna find that one one street dude from the streets who <coughs> who uh if they was innocent on these things wouldn't be going hard about this situation. Wouldn't be going hard about this situation at all. Come on, let's stop the game. Let's break him down, though. Let me just show you how guilt allow a person to uh, move a certain way. He said, I'm about to do a battle again. Like any damn body care, this battle rap, no big deal. The biggest platform in battle rap, the biggest platform in battle rap only got 900,000 subscribers. No damn body really cares. This one of the smallest markets ever when it comes to business-wise uh, uh, in the music industry. So we not finna do that. He said, and I'm about to drop one of the greatest albums of all time. Man, you ain't had a hit in over 10 years, man. What are you talking about? You finna drop one of the greatest albums of all time, man. Come on, fam. You you don't even sell records, fam. Let's just be realistic. Let's just be honest. Who actually looking for a Cassidy album to drop? Don't know. Ain't no girls into you, so ain't no women feeling you. And they the ones who dominate the music industry. You don't run the internet, man. Your number's so low when it comes to people in the industry who popular and popping. So this so-called scandal or some type of setup coming out to stop you from selling records or to hinder your battle you doing. Come on, you can do better than that, brother. Come on, that's the best you can come up with. This right here even proves that you guilty, fam. You ain't been popping, man. Come on, man. You ain't been popping in a long time, man. Get up out of here, man. Then he said, 
He said, somebody is trying to set him up. Somebody now. See, I hate when they do stuff like that. Somebody. But these somebody clearly saying your name, who you is. They also said who they is, but you just want to say somebody. That somebody showed his face. That somebody said his name. That somebody challenging you and daring you to come to try to say that all this stuff ain't really true. So that they can really get you even worse. So this is not no just somebody. This somebody that really proven that y'all had some type of dealings with each other. So don't give me this somebody trying to set me up. Ain't no, first of all, you can't be set up if you're not there. How you get set up with trannies if you're not there? They can't set you up if you ain't there. So what you doing there for then? Can I please? I, Shut up. Bang the gavel on this clown. Now you call. See, it's exactly what it is. They always do this thing to try to satisfy their desire at the time they craving for it. Then when the truth come out, now you want to try to uh, defend yourself. And you can't even defend yourself right. Sound just like Young Buck was trying to say, like, I ain't with that gay stuff. I ain't got nothing against gay dudes, though. But I don't do that gay stuff. Right. But you all on there, babe, babe, could you take it down? If you think I'm lying, you can put it back up. You can put it back up if you think I'm lying. I'm not lying. Same thing with you. They trying to set you up. How they set you up if you ain't there? Get up out of here. They can't set you up. They said, it's funny, these guys who setting up, sure got a history of being around them. Sure got a history of being around them. They can't set you up if you ain't around them. But here's my thing. If you so straight and you so hood and street and, and, and got a happy marriage, what you doing around them? What you doing around them? And you know what else I don't like? I don't like a lot of these, these dumbass fans and stuff, man. Who think that this dude is far above this happening to him just because he rapped or just because he tricked them into thinking he was straight. They really surprised at this. Why would you be surprised at this when you see this stuff going on all the time? Or just because he can rap, this ain't him. Because he rap. I like his albums. He wouldn't do that. He don't look or appear to me to be somebody that does that. Man, shut up, man. Stop tying yourself into these dudes' personal lives. Then when this stuff come out about them, you trying to defend them. You can't defend them. You can't defend them when the truth is out on them. These transsexuals, man, that's coming out, exposing his brother and accusing him of doing this thing. These dudes are saying the exact hotels they was in, letting it be known when it was happening and stuff, man. Got where this dude was at from New Jersey to New York, man. Literally calling this stuff out play by play by play. You know who else know it's true? His wife know it's true. When they get the name of them dates out, like, hey, you remember that one time he was gone, so was, uh, he was with me. She know that true like he sure was. Just like when God setting you up. Like that's how a lot of guys sometimes uh can lay down with other guys, girl, girlfriends and things, guys who were close to them. This is how they get in. They know the dates, they know the times. So this is what they do. Like when like like <coughs> when a couple of shifty guys tried to do that same thing to me. Some of them tried to do that to me, some of them did do it to me. But they used the same thing. They they know. When we was out there kicking it, doing our dirt, doing our dirt. And then when I got arrested and went to prison, they got to telling and stuff like, hey, you remember that time when uh we said we had to go such and such? We didn't really go there. We were with Monique now. We were with Keisha now. We were with Tammy now. We were with Erica now. She knew it because that's my girl. She knew it. That was my girl. Like, yeah, I do remember that time. That's the same thing the training's doing to him. Remember when he was such and such? We was in this hotel at that time. They saying the hotel, they, come on, they getting graphic and really in detail with him. They not just saying, hey, uh, guess what? I messed around with Cassidy. No, they getting in detail. I messed around. They showing the first text 
to the last text, from the very first inbox to him responding. Come on, man. Stop playing games. You can't trick us. Ain't no straight dude. Ain't no straight dude. Rarely is he going to be accused of messing with a tranny. But even if he does, right, and it's not true, man, he's going to, man, let a tranny come out and say, yeah, I was with Battle True. Oh, you was? When you were with me? Where was we at? So, you know, you're going to go, just like they go graphic, you're going to go graphic. Especially if you innocent. I was never with you. When was I ever with you? What date? What time? Where was I at? Where was I riding in? Where was I driving? Where, where did I meet you at? You get what I'm saying? And I'm ready for you to lie because I got proof of where I was at. Just like in a real courtroom. Do you have an alibi for where you was when you was accused of this such and such thing? And what's the motive behind it and who can bear witness to what you saying? Same thing. This dude ain't doing none of that. Talking about somebody trying to set him up. You just a simple, come on, man, stop it. Ain't no, set you up. Dude, you not even, set you up for what? You got to be there. You got to be there. You just caught up and you just trying to say somebody trying to set you up. This is the same thing. <coughs> Let me tell you something. When people popular, they try to use their popularity and their fan base to get them out of things that they're guilty of. And because you don't really know the nobodies, the so-called nobodies who the victims behind these situations or who exposing them, you tend to overlook them and give more credit to the person that's popular and known. Same thing happened with the Michael Jackson situation. When Michael Jackson was accused of molesting the first boy, what did Michael Jackson do to try to prove he wasn't a molester? He went and did the first video of his whole entire career out of all the videos he ever done. First video he ever did kissing a female for the first time. Show him an intimacy with a female to try to give credit to say he he don't like boys. He don't like boys. Then settled out of court for like $65 million. Gave the boy a settlement for $65 million. Then you know what people were saying? Mike ain't do that. Michael Jackson wouldn't do that. He be helping out everybody. He's such a humble person. The camera's on. Everybody nice and polite with the camera's on. Cameras out, you get to send these people private life, man. You would be, come on, man. If Wall could talk, man, they'd curse a lot of these people out, man. Let's stop these games, man. These people are real human beings who struggle, struggle, and wrestle with demons just like you do, man. Make no mistake about it, man. People be always try to compromise for these people and make up for them. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, no, no. No, 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 we not doing that. We not doing that at all. Let me tell you another thing. So not only do they do that, they allow their popularity again to get them out of situation. Just like R. Kelly did his thing with the rape case. I don't take pin on the girl, everything. They don't never take the stand for themselves. They never take the stand for themselves. Michael Jackson didn't take the stand in his case. O.J. Simpson ain't take the stand in his case. Uh, R. Kelly ain't take the stand in his case. If you innocent, why you don't take the stand? Not taking the stand is a form of guilt. If you innocent of something, man, there's no way a person, because people try to say, no, if they take the stand, they can trick them into saying, you can't trick me into saying or doing something I didn't do. You can't trick me into saying I shot somebody. You can't trick me into saying I raped somebody. You can't trick me into saying I robbed somebody unless I actually done it. If I didn't do it, you can't trick me into saying I done it, period. So you talking about they trying to set you up. Here's another question. If they trying to set you up, how do they know to use tranny bait? <laughs> if they trying to set you up, how do they know the way to set you up is to use tranny bait? Why would this even have any validity to it? Why would it have any type of weight to it? If this was a means to set you up, why would, how would they know to use tranny bait? That's my question to you, fam. Come on, stop playing, man. Another thing. He said the truth hurt, but them lies can't affect me. 
Well, you definitely affected by it. If you wasn't affected by it, you wouldn't have gave a statement. You wouldn't be saying this. It's obvious you watching. It's obvious you listening. So you affected by it in some type of way. You wanted something to say about it, but you wasn't thinking about it when you thought you were going to get away with it. Come on, man. These people describing your private part. How would they know that? How would they know that? These people got real pictures of your wife. Not pictures that you could just find on the internet, but private pictures of her that <coughs> that only you you have. Not stuff that's showing her in glory like y'all out kicking it and all that. But private pictures of her because you wanted to arrange something for them to even do, be down there with her too. Come on, man. He said, when the truth comes to the light, anyone questioning my credibility will feel stupid like they always do. No, no, let me tell you, son. When what truth come to the light? You ain't even applying no pressure, man. You know all the stuff being out here said against you, and this the best you can come up with? This the best you can come up with? What are your receipts? What are your receipts of proof that it didn't happen? Because they got a lot of them on you. They got a lot of them on you. Come on, man. Ain't nobody buying this, man. Ain't nobody buying this, fam. You guilty, fam. You know you did this stuff, fam. You know you did this. They showing that. You just trying to cover it up like you do, like you trying to do, man. Gilly the kid and them should whoop your ass, boy. That's just a fact. Gilly, where Gilly at? <laughs> Somebody please give me the number to Gilly, man. You sitting up there. This dude really, <laughs> this dude really, really think. Philadelphia city, <laughs> a brotherly love really mean you supposed to be uh, coupled up with a man. <laughs> that brother was representing Philly for real. <laughs> Them transsexuals said that this brother was massaging they man parts while they were giving him oral sex. <laughs> This brother said he from Philly for real. The place of brotherly love. He had two brothers. <laughs> this brother had two brothers in the hotel. They were playing Twister. <laughs> they were playing the game Twister. <laughs> these brothers all these brothers all in their birthday suits playing Twister. <laughs> This brother thought he had it going on. This dude thought he was a real pimp. <laughs> this dude think he on some real pimp stuff. <laughs> Getting it in with two men. Like, dude, get up out of here, man. <laughs> Talking about it didn't happen. This person and these trannies them <laughs> these trannies them blacklighted themselves. They hold they whole mouth was fluorescent. <laughs> they mouth was fluorescent. They blacklighted themselves. The C, the CSI light to show the DNA, the hidden secret DNA. They mouth was fluorescent. They mouth was fluorescent and your waist was fluorescent. <laughs> they, they put out a rape kit on this dude, man. <laughs> Get up out of here. <laughs> they put out a rape kit on this brother, man. They had, they swapped. They squab themselves. Brother, turn in your Q-tips. Turn in your Q-tips. I think you guilty. Get up out of here. Ain't nobody buying that trash, man. You got caught up. Now you're trying to make up an excuse for it, man. That's all this is, bro. Talking about you got a battle coming up in one of the greatest albums ever. So there's some type of secret society thing to try to set you up. Really? Really? Man, please. The greatest album that's been to come out. <laughs> this greatest album that's been to come out. Man, shut up, man. Ain't nobody buying that stuff, man. Nope. We not doing that, Cassidy. I don't believe you. You need more people. Thing about it is, since you were secretly hiding doing this, you don't have more people. Crazy thing about it is, they have more witnesses on you. You don't have nobody to vouch for your innocence, bro. But the thing about it, any real dude know you guilty. You can't accuse no real dude of this type of stuff. Look, ain't no real trannies. I mean, not even if they real, or but ain't no transsexuals gonna come out and, uh, 
put all that stuff out there like that if you wasn't in some type of communication with them. That's just real life talk, fam. You can't just throw that on people like that unless you was in some type of talks and conversations with them. You had to been having interaction with them. And that's how that stuff end up implementing you and tying you into the thing. You gonna try to say all together, you don't know who these people is. They got your phone number, got your picture, got texts of you, got got private painting pictures of you. Come on, fam. I mean, know, know where you was at this day of time. All up in the hotel. What? Come on, man. Get up out of here, fam. Get up out of here, dog. Come on. Stop it, man. But that's how you brothers do, man. That's how you brothers do. Live with that guilt and that shame now. Now with guilt and shame killing you and tearing you up inside and now you're trying to justify the means, fam. Get up out of here. This statement even show you guilty. You ain't never once called them out on that thing like, dude, stop lying on me. Don't you ever say something. You ain't even doing that. This is such a polite statement. How is how this statement so polite of a person who innocent of these allegations against him? Let me read his statement again. Do this sound like a person who really innocent? He said, I'm about to do a battle again. I'm about to drop one of the greatest albums ever. So someone is trying to set me up. So he have no idea who these people is, even though they clearly saying who they are. They not hiding. They showing their face, letting it be known. This me. My name is this. You can look me up on such and such. This is exactly who I am. But he somehow don't know. Someone is behind them, even though they the ones saying, I did. He know who I am. He know who we, we is. So he says someone is trying to set me up. The truth hurts. What truth hurt? You never gave a truth. What? What? He said the truth hurts. Like he said something to put something out there real and true that made this thing come to pass. So what truth did you put out here that hurt somebody so bad that they decided to say, you know what? Let's make up a lie to say that Cassidy had sex with me and another transsexual. Because he got a URL battle coming out. You know how big the URL is. That's a big battle. Even though we're not going to get no money up out of it. We ain't going to get nothing out of it. But let's just do this to sabotage his album. Let's sabotage his battle. Because we just hate him that much. And No. No, Cassie. Anyway. He said the truth hurt. But them lies can't affect me. When the truth comes to the light, anyone questioning my credibility will feel stupid like they always do. Do that sound like a person who really innocent? No, nope, that's guilt like a mug. And he trying his best not to apply pressure on the one that's accusing him of this type of stuff. This is a statement he was forced to say because him being silent about it even proves even more guilt. But look at the safe route he took. Look at, think, think about it, fellas. If a person came out and said that about you, don't matter if, uh, 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 well, he big, he a poor, let's keep it real, he not. He been, he been so irrelevant to the music industry, it ain't even funny. Nobody in the music industry is looking out for a Cassidy album or a feature on their albums. Let's stop these tricks. Let's get with some real facts. Get up out of here. Nobody ain't trying to do that stuff. Come on, man. Talking about clout chasing. Clout chasing you for what? Out of anybody that ever made it in the music industry, you're the most irrelevant right now. So what do they get out of clout chasing you? Out of all people they could have clout chased to say this to. Even the people who known for messing with transsexuals, you would think that if they were clout chasing, they'll say he had me too. But no, they want to say this to you, a person who's not even really important when it comes to the rap industry. Man, stop it, man. Fam, you only got 200,000. You only got 200,000 Twitter followers. That's it. Let's sound like a person who big in the rap industry. You got 200,000 Twitter followers. Come on, man. We not doing that. Man, stop playing. Man, stop playing, man. No. No. No, 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 no. You guilty and you know you guilty, fam. The thing about it is 
you caught up, man, and you think your popularity going to allow you to overshadow the nobodies who nobody don't know like a lot of the other people with popularity do. They think because they got popularity that it's going to carry them out of any situation that they dig themselves in that shows them bogus and out of pocket. And you trying to do the same exact thing, man. That's exactly what you trying to do. The difference is, man, all the evidence shows that you guilty. And people who trying to vouch for you and say, oh, Oh, it ain't enough ever. Man, y'all need to stop that, man. Stop trying to ride this man wave because you like how he rap. Stop trying to make it seem as though uh, uh, this stuff just pos it just ain't happening. Come on, man. Ain't do y'all, y'all really you can't see between the lines of this. What if it was you? What if it was you when two trannies were saying, I got pictures of his wife and they show his wife. He was with us in the hotel on this day. We was at this hotel too, in this room also. Here's the pictures of this man private part. Here's a clip of it also. Not only that, uh, 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 here's his phone number. Here's his inboxes, us inboxing each other. You just gonna say, well, I got an album coming out. I got a battle coming out. So that's, the, that's how you know his, that's why you know his life as an entertainer, it, it ain't really important. Look what he say. I got a battle about to come out. <laughs> I got a battle about to come out. I'm finna battle again. Right. Really. You about to battle again. Who gives a damn? Stop playing, man. And I got an album coming out. Like you, like you selling big, like you even in the conversations. Get up out of here, man. Nobody cares. You drop so many mixtapes over the internet, it ain't funny. How is this any different? Your number's low as hell on the internet. Come on, how is this going to be any different? Man, stop playing, man. You got caught up, and I ain't buying it. You got caught up, and I ain't buying it. Yeah, your credibility ain't in question. It's already been answered. So your, question, your, your credibility not in question. It's already been answered. So he said, stay tuned. For what? You ain't applying no pressure on nobody. It is what it is. And this your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours, man. Cassidy, weak statement. I ain't buying it.